As of 2023, total annual GDP of the United States is $23.3 trillion, whereas BlackRock alone manages an astonishing $9.42 trillion in assets. This staggering figure surpasses the annual GDP of most countries, cementing BlackRock's position as the largest asset manager on the planet. Yet, what sets BlackRock apart is not just its sheer size, but its uncanny ability to shape the financial destiny of not just individuals, but nations. However, the true power of BlackRock lies in its technological prowess. Aladdin, a proprietary software system, is the hidden engine behind its operations. This digital wizardry enables BlackRock to meticulously analyze risks, construct portfolios, select stocks, and execute trades with unparalleled precision. The Aladdin system has become so integral to the firm that it is often referred to as the central nervous system of BlackRock. Yet, amid this tale of financial conquest, questions linger in the air. How did BlackRock rise to such staggering heights? What hidden levers of influence does it hold? And what does the future hold for this financial colossus? Well, that's not the purpose of today's video. Instead, we're going to discuss the stocks that BlackRock is buying, and how we can benefit from this selection of stocks and earn a handsome return. Now before discussing top picks, just a quick announcement. A few weeks ago, I recommended my private Discord server members to buy this penny stock when it was trading near 135 with a target of 250. But you'll be surprised to know that in a matter of just a few weeks, the stock jumped 390% to 530, where we recommended profit taking. Apart from weekly updates, we will be recommending new penny stocks like these with upside potential every week. If you're interested in receiving weekly buy-sell opportunities and options trading course, well then consider joining our private Discord server. Link to join is given below in the description. First stock on our list is Palo Alto Networks. So what's the buzz around PANW and why is BlackRock interested? Well, let's break it down. BlackRock seems to be quite bullish on PANW and they've maintained their buy rating. They see something special in this cybersecurity company, believing that it's uniquely poised to outperform its peers in the second half of 2023 and throughout 2024. One thing that stands out is PANW's resilience, even in uncertain economic times. BlackRock thinks that PANW's expansion of Cortex, coupled with its clever go-to-market strategy, will keep it standing strong despite any macroeconomic headwinds. It's like PANW has its armor on. BlackRock also gives PANW a pat on the back for executing deferred payment plans while keeping that precious free cash flow steady, even when there's pressure from all sides. That's a strategic move we'll be keeping an eye on. Oh, and here's some good news for PANW investors. The stock has been on fire, up nearly 69% year to date, outperforming not only the S&P 500, but also some of its cybersecurity peers like CrowdStrike, CyberArk, ServiceNow, and Fortinet. It's like PANW's got a rocket strap to it. Now, about that cost-cutting environment that we mentioned earlier. Many customers have been tightening their belts in the second half of 2023 due to macro uncertainties. Even Fortinet took a hit. But don't worry, PANW isn't entirely immune, but they are handling it like a pro. PANW's go-to-market strategy is like a secret weapon. It's helping customers consolidate their cybersecurity needs through new services and joint offerings. Now, let's talk numbers. PANW isn't exactly cheap, but it is worth every penny, according to BlackRock. It's trading at 8.1 times EV to C2024 sales, which is a bit higher than the peer average group, but BlackRock still thinks it's a good deal. And guess what? Wall Street seems to agree with BlackRock's bullish sentiment too. And speaking of confidence, PANW stock is currently trading at $236 per share, with a median sell-side price target of $275. The mean price target is $272, implying a potential 15-16% to 16 upside. Hmm, that's not bad at all. Alright, let's shift our attention to the second stock on our radar, ConocoPhillips. 
This oil and gas giant has quite a story to tell, and there are some compelling reasons why BlackRock might have its eye on it. ConocoPhillips isn't a newcomer to the scene. Its roots stretch all the way back to near the Civil War when oil was just starting to be discovered. When it comes to evaluating a company, we've got to look at a few key factors. Valuation is one, and ConocoPhillips seems to be attracting attention. What really caught our attention is ConocoPhillips' focus on the Delaware Basin. This region is a treasure trove of oil, and both ConocoPhillips and Devon Energy have stakes there. While Devon posts about having around 400,000 net acres in the Delaware Basin, ConocoPhillips takes it a step further with approximately 650,000 net acres. That's like having a bigger slice of the oil pie. Now, let's talk about something that investors often worry about. A company's balance sheet. ConocoPhillips does carry some debt, but it's not overly concerning given the nature of the oil and gas industry. It's all about managing leverage, right? So, what's the bottom line? Is ConocoPhillips the ticket to becoming fabulously wealthy? Well, it depends on your investing life cycle. If you're closer to retirement and looking to preserve wealth, ConocoPhillips could be a solid choice. In conclusion, ConocoPhillips presents a promising investment opportunity. It's the same as having a diversified oil play with strong ties to the shale oil plays, and in particular, the Delaware Basin. And with its rich history, you can rest easy knowing that you're in it for the long haul. There you have it, folks, the inside scoop on ConocoPhillips, the second stock on BlackRock's watch list. Now is our third stock analysis in today's episode. We're taking a closer look at Broadcom. And boy, does this company have a story to tell. First things first, it seems like some investors might have misunderstood Broadcom's long-term strategy. And there's been some disappointment in the air, especially regarding the lack of a quote-unquote AI boost in their recent Q3 results. But hold on, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Now let's dive into the numbers. Despite moderate revenue growth, Broadcom has been consistently delivering strong free cash flow. And here's the kicker. Their free cash flow per share is on the rise thanks to share buybacks. But what about valuation? Broadcom is trading in line with the S&P 500 on both a trailing 12 months TTM and forward price to earnings or PDE basis. However, their free cash flow margin is about three times that of the S&P 500. This suggests that Broadcom might be undervalued. Now, while some investors were disappointed with Broadcom's Q3 results, they might have missed the forest for the trees. The company's free cash flow continues to grow, even if the revenue growth isn't skyrocketing. Speaking of growth, let's not forget the pending VMware acquisition. It's a massive deal for Broadcom and is expected to add substantial free cash flow to their already impressive profile. In conclusion, Broadcom is a company with a well-defined strategy, a history of successful acquisitions, and a commitment to delivering value to its shareholders. If you're looking for a stock that combines growth potential with a solid dividend, Broadcom might just be the one for you. And there you have it for Broadcom. For our fourth stock, as a bonus, we're putting Tesla under the spotlight and exploring the reasons for BlackRock's interest in that one. Now, when we look at the technical indicators, things get interesting. They're sending us mixed signals. There's a potential for more selling, but there's also a glimmer of hope. Seasonality could be Tesla's best friend in the coming months. Historically, October and November have been good to this electric giant, so there's reason to believe that we could see higher prices ahead. Tesla experienced a pullback from July to August, but it found solid support at $212. Since then, it's been making a comeback. The momentum indicators are showing promise, but there are some hurdles to clear. Tesla's not just about charts and numbers. Its market share in the EV game is still strong, and that's a big plus. The company's scale and adoption advantages keep it ahead of the competition. Tesla's trading at a forward PDE ratio of 65 times, which isn't exactly a bargain. It is important to keep in mind that as Tesla grows, its multiples are likely to shrink. And there you have it for Tesla. 
we're now going to jump over to our final stock on the list. We all know that Apple's stock price typically takes a dip after the announcement of a new iPhone, but this year, it's a different story. The key to Apple's strategy lies in pricing. They're not just releasing new iPhones, they're strategically pricing them. Apple's been following this game plan since 2019, and it's all about encouraging customers to opt for the higher priced models. Now let's talk numbers. Analysts anticipate a whopping 20% increase in Apple's stock price. And what's the reason behind this optimism? Well, it boils down to the improved chip, battery, and photo technology in the new iPhone Pro models. Apple is enticing customers to upgrade to those higher priced Pro versions. And there are plenty of reasons they might take the bait. Performance, prestige, and the allure of the best cameras on the market. Let's not forget that US carriers often offer discounts on Pro iPhones to attract new customers. Combine that with upgrades, subscription, and lease programs, and the price hike feels more manageable on a monthly basis. In the long run, Apple's pricing game plan could translate into a 20% boost in stock price. This strategy is all about securing Apple's dominance in the tech world. That's a wrap on why BlackRock and other investors are keeping an eye on Apple. It's all about the pricing strategy and the future dominance of this tech titan. And that's it for our video for today. BlackRock is an investment giant, and they are putting their weight behind these rocks. So I highly suggest you to take a look at these stocks and solidify your portfolio.